Hello and welcome back to the World of Tech. I'm Darren Dunn and this is the just released Facebook for iPad application. Now this is not a jailbroken iPad, however it is running iOS 5. But this application is nothing to do with iOS 5, it's nothing to do with jailbreaking, it's the official application for the iPad from Facebook. And in this video we're going to be giving it a tour and having a look at it together for the very first time. So just like the standard Facebook you have news feeds down the left hand side and your chat down the right hand side. Now another thing we can do is update our Facebook status. I'm just going to cancel that. What's on your mind? Um. Hi, and I'm going to post hi, and as you can see, it appears in the newsfeed. Now, I can also write within the application, take a look at my photos. So if I wanted to upload that photo, click next, and then I could say hi, and then I'd be publishing that photo. So you can upload photos right within the application that will work better on the second generation iPod but it's nice to know that you can do it in the first generation. You can also check in as well so if I wanted to turn location services on I could do that right within the application and let people know where I am so they can very pleasantly stalk me. So if I wanted to open a chat with somebody I could just simply scroll down let's open a chat with Sam and just click send and it's going to send just like a normal Facebook chat message so what else can you do within the application up here you might not be able to see it because of the light but you have a little tab and that is going to open a left hand bar so here we could have a look at the news feed which I've already got open here messages I don't want to click that because that's all personal stuff nearby to see who's nearby me I can check events have a look at my friends pages so if I wanted to I could operate the word of text Facebook page if I wanted to do that the link will be in the description if you did want to like us on Facebook and while I'm here I'll actually update the status testing new Facebook for iPad application click share and that's gonna to post to the wall however that should have posted as the world of tech doesn't look like it has done as of now which might be a little bit of a bug but who knows what else can we do we can have a look at groups as well and apps so I could have a look at the notes I'm going to write okay that's just something that I've made as a test let's have a look at photos now photos really really impressive if I wanted to I could click that and have a look at a photo that I've uploaded to Facebook can scroll through thumbs up comment and it's as easy as that and right in the top corner there I can like that so as you can see it's got one comment and one like and it makes the traditional Facebook noise so what is happening in this top corner here we can unlike tag the photo make profile picture save the photo or delete the photo now I'm not happy with this photo I'm gonna delete it and I can delete it right within the application and as you can see I've got a notification. Somebody is trying to talk to me. So if I go back to messages, newsfeed, and Sam has put back. And I can send that. So you can continue to use Facebook on your biggest screen now with the iPad 
first generation and second generation. I've been Darren Dunn, this is Facebook for iPad, available from the link in the description. It's not yet online in the App Store, but it is available to download via iTunes, the desktop application. Please do follow us on Twitter, at World of Tech UK. Like us on Facebook as well, the link will be in the description for that. Also, please do subscribe. I'm gonna have to go because my battery is drained. So I'm gonna charge this thing up and continue using Facebook for iPad.